Hi, I'm Nadine, and today I'm making gluten-free peanut butter chocolate ice cream sandwiches. And yes, the last few weeks I was obsessing how to make peanut butter, peanut butter cookies, because what I really wanted was to make a peanut butter chocolate ice cream sandwich. And today I'm going to put that together for you. And these gluten-free peanut butter ice cream sandwiches are so delicious that I will fool anyone to think it's the real deal. I certainly have to first make my ice cream because without ice cream there's no peanut butter ice cream sandwich so I decided I'm gonna make my own homemade ice cream and I'm gonna use the really delicious milk I got from our local dairy farmer so I'm gonna make three batches of ice cream and for that I'm gonna use one liter of milk and one liter of heavy cream and I'm gonna heat it up and I like to make my dark chocolate ice cream with real dark chocolate. I'm gonna break the chocolate apart just because then the chocolate will melt much faster. I would normally add 300 grams of sugar at this point, but I do wanna make a small batch of sugar-free ice cream or no added sugar ice cream. So I'm gonna add the sugar as last step after I put some for the sugar-free ice cream. I'm gonna add now nine egg yolks which I separated earlier. And in my chocolate sponge cake recipe, I'm showing how I actually separate the eggs. And what I have to do now is I have to keep on stirring, heating up the chocolate milk, making sure I don't bring it to a boiling point, and the egg yolks will thicken up the chocolate milk to a custard. Some recipe use cornstarch, but it's much nicer if you use egg yolks. To intensify the flavor even a bit more, I'm gonna add about half a cup of cacao. But before I add it to the chocolate milk, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some milk to the cacao, mix up the cacao, and I'm doing that to dissolve as many clumps as possible. If I would just add the cacao, I would have a lot of lumps in my chocolate ice cream. And now I'm gonna add my cacao mixture to the chocolate milk. And to intensify the flavor even more so, I'm going to add now one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Oh wow, that's a very nice rich chocolate flavor. And I can feel how the chocolate milk becomes a custard. It becomes thicker and thicker. Okay, this should be good enough. So here are two one liter containers. And I'm going to pour my chocolate custard into those containers and let them cool down overnight. Because to make ice cream, you certainly need to have a cold custard. And as I mentioned, I wanted to have one batch with sugar. So here is about 80 grams of sugar. And I'm going to add the custard to the sugar, to the sugar now. And I'm going to give the chocolate custard a quick stir to dissolve the sugar. And then I'm going to transfer the containers into the fridge and tomorrow I'm going to make my ice cream. While my custard is cooling down and resting in the fridge, I'm going to make my peanut butter cookie dough. And I showed you in last week's video how I'm making it. For this week's episode, I already pre-made my cookie dough. So the dough I have here rested overnight and I'm going to scoop them now onto my cookie sheet. And with a fork, I'm going to smash a little bit my peanut butter cookies. And with a fork, I'm going to create now a crust pattern on my cookies. And then with my batch of cookies, and I'm going to bake them now for 15 to 20 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius. And here are my freshly baked cookies straight out of the oven. 
And I'm gonna transfer now my peanut butter cookies to a cooling rack so they can cool down a little bit faster. And some of the cookies, as you can see, have a little bit of a darker edge. And why that's happening is because our oven is not very even in its temperature. So some spots in our oven are hotter than others and therefore some of the edges gets a little bit more burnt than others. Eh, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I'm gonna start now making my chocolate ice cream for my peanut butter chocolate ice cream sandwich cookies. Oh yeah. And here's the chocolate custard I was making yesterday and cooled down overnight. You see it formed a little bit of a top here and it's pretty, it's pretty thick. It's like a pudding now. And what we really want to do in the ice cream machine is whip up this custard to become ice cream. And for that, I'm going to pour that into the bowl of our ice cream maker. And now I'm going to take that over to our ice cream maker and place it inside of it. Our ice cream maker has a very peculiar location in our house because we just have way too many kitchen equipment. And so it is a little bit hidden. And I'm just going to start now the ice cream maker. After 45 minutes, my ice cream is ready. And how long your ice cream has to be in the ice cream maker depends on the individual ice cream maker, certainly. I want to transfer my finished ice cream into a plastic container, but I think it's a bit too frozen right now. I mean, the nice thing about homemade ice cream is it has a very rich taste. Well, it depends if you put a lot of heavy cream in it. At the same time, it becomes also a little bit harder to manage. I'm gonna put the chocolate ice cream to the side, let it melt a teeny bit so I can much more easily scoop it onto the top of my peanut butter cookies. Let's get going on my ice cream sandwich experiment. And what I wanna do for that is take one of my cookies, have one scoop of ice cream, maybe two scoops. That looks about right. I'm going to press both cookies together now, squeezing the ice cream. And now I have my ice cream sandwich. Three or four weeks of intense experimentation. And yes, a lot of peanut butter was sacrificed just to bite today into this sandwich. So worth all the trouble. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!